it's showtime. Welcome back to our channel. It's just me today. I have a quick first time ever. I hope I only can do this once on our channel of a rant. I've told this story to so many people I know and I just want to get this off my chest so it's many more people because this is bothering me ever since my package has been in Chicago and then flew its butt back to California. We'll get into this. So this is a doll's kill rant. I just I don't even know how to put this. Is who this is basically their them them to blame. But let me get all my info, information, and just tell the story correct because that's what I gotta do. So receipts. I keep receipts. Okay. I hate saying this. On November 26th, which was Black Friday, I ordered from Dolls Kills. This is my first time ordered for Dolls Kills. My first order from Dolls Kills, and this is what I got. I got the Unlocked Potential Change bracelet, which was $7. That actually got probably sold out once we shipped it, once I started fulfilling my order. So I got a return for that in my former payment. And then I got the Fast Love Checkered Earrings, $7. The Spoof Ghost Earrings, $5.60. The Double Lip, lip Ring, $3.50. The, the Rolling Stop Thermal Crop Top, $7.98 from Current Mood. Then I got the Never Cautious Vinyl Top, $11.76. And then I got the Icy Dead People Glowing Tea, 875. And I got the Crazy Conversation Cat Lady Sunglasses for 420. And then I got the Multiple Choices Mock Neck Top for 1260. Um, shipping handle was free. Um, then I ordered that on October, I mean November 26th. I understand oh, I own a business myself, but it's not as big as theirs, so I can understand like. They probably get a lot of orders, especially being them being big. So it took till let's see, December fifth, De December fifth for my stuff to ship. And that how many days? Like, but that's so crazy. Like it took that long. I ordered it on the room twenty six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days. So they finally shipped my order and then well, here's the crazy crazy part my stuff was shipped on December 5th let's get that correct we're gonna follow my package okay we we're just gonna follow this poor little package let's go to Bell Bam Gardens this is weird. I have a, two different information. Do we need to stop this video? Because this. Where's my fucking my package? That's his bell garden, California. But I checked. We might have been. We probably did this video for nothing. It probably might be going to San Francisco. I don't know where it's going. But that's the Chicago, Illinois Network Distribution Center, and that was today. This was... They got... Let me see. Okay, that was just... That was the 19th. Okay. So... Yeah. I don't know what's happening. But, um... December sec December second. I'm reading off from Dolls Kills track information, and I'm gonna go to USPS because they they have two different informations. Don't know why, but December second at 8:56, the information was sent to FedEx. Then December fourth, it arrived at Bloomington, California, at the FedEx location, and then December fifth, it was in transit to Yucca, uh, Arizona. And then December 6th, it went to Beeline, New Mexico. 
December 7th in transit to Wellington, Kansas. December 7th, December 7th was in transit to, I don't know, that city in Illinois. And then in December 8th, it arrived at a fellas location in New Berlin, Wisconsin. And then in December 9th, it was finally in transit to USPS Chicago. And then December 9th, it was a delivery expect a delivery exception. It was rerouted to correct delivery address. And then it was in transit December 10th in transit to Elk Grove Village, Illinois. And then December 11th, it was in transit. It's still in Chicago. December 12th, still in transit to Chicago. And then December 17th. See, I was happy when it said delivery in transit to local post office. Allow two to three additional days for delivery. Chicago, Illinois. I was happy when I kept seeing those posts because that's where my package is supposed to be. Chicago, Illinois. But when on December 17th, it said it was in transit to San Bernardino, California. I was like, nah. This package just went another way. Like, you, why, why are you going? Why did you just leave? Why did you just pack your bags and go? Because nobody told you to go. And then on December 8th, it's in transit. It's in Bell Gardens, California. December 19th, still in Bell Gardens, California. Now, Dolls Kills tracking information and USPS have two different, two different things. That's what I see. Oh, this is so freaking frustrating. So, uh, let's get tracking history. Mm -mm -mm. So, on December 8th, there was a pre shipment in Phil since USPS, December 19th. Uh, in Chicago, UPS was in possession of the item. And then. December 9th, it was forwarded in Chicago. It was forwarded to Elk Grove Village Distribution Center. Don't know why. In Chicago 10th. I mean, December 10th. And then December 11th, it arrived at Chicago's USPS Distribution dis, Distribute. Distribute. Yeah. In Chicago's Center. And then December 11th, it departed. Chicago's USPS Center and then December 11th it arrived at a post office in Chicago, Illinois and then in that same time it arrived at a USPS facility and then December 12th it said it arrived at a USPS Chicago Center same thing and then December 17th that's when it arrived at USPS San Bernardino, California UPS Center and then December 17th at 1.39 p.m. it departed from San Bernardino. Then the 18th it arrived at Los Angeles USPS Center. And then December 21st it was in transit to Nest facility. And then December 22nd it arrived at USPS Chicago Illinois Network Center. Your, your item at or arrived at the USPS facility in Chicago Illinois. The island is currently in transit to the destination. Okay, I just gave you all that information. But, so on December 17th, where I saw all that information of where I stopped saying, um, it shipped his butt back to San Bernardino, I emailed, no, at first, yeah, I emailed Dawes Kills at 8 o'clock my, at 8 o'clock in my time. Then, you know, quick to resolve something. I had to look at their inf contact information. They don't open until freaking 9 a.m. Um, California time. So I had to wait till 11 a.m. my time to talk to somebody. And then when I called customer service, she told me, since she, I told them what happened. I saw that my package was in Chicago and then it went back to San Bernardino. So I'm just assuming it's on its way back to them. She was like, well, since there's no information on what, why it's coming back, if it's a shipping error, 
you can get store credit. I was like, oh, oh no. That's what we're not going to do. We're not going to get store credit because this is not my fault. It's just not my fault. And I kindly told her, I work in customer service too. I so thought I kind of told him, like, I'm trying not to get mad at you. You're just doing your job. But if I am to get to touch a package and it's not a return, I shouldn't have to deal with store credit because I pay for these items and I didn't even get to enjoy these items. So I'm not about to spend $60, $61 again on something. And for the amount of items that I got, that's like a steal from Dolls Kills. It's legit a steal. For the amount of items I got, with $61, I'd probably get two things. Like, no, we're, we're not going to do that. Like, just, I was like, so I kind of told her, you know, can I speak to somebody above you? Because if I just get store credit, I'm honestly not going to want to shop here again because of what has happened. It's like, my package is not coming, and I don't know where my package is at. So, it's like, it's... I don't I don't even want it at this point. It's late. It's like a month already. I don't want it. So well it's not been a month, but it's been some weeks. But still, it's late and I just the hype is over. Like once you have that hype over package and it's late, the hype is over now. Like it's been weeks. So I asked to speak to a supervisor. I spoke to a supervisor. They emailed me. And they told me it was kind of weird how USPS didn't tell them why I was coming back. And then he asked me that I call my local post office can, to reschedule delivery. But I'm like, they said no because it's out of their hands. It's out of our state. They can't do that. It's like if it's going back to you and it's in another state already, that's out of their hands. So... He did kind of rectify the problem. He's like, once they get it back, they'll give me back my money <clears throat> and my former payment. But now we have a problem again because my package keeps going back to back. It's like, why is my package keep going back to back? So this is basically part one of my rant because if nobody gives me my money, because my package wants to be a little petty queen, and keep going from Chicago to California to back to Chicago taking their freaking flyer miles. It's, I think my package has like a little flyer miles little card and Jay's just trying to freaking milk it because my package is not on vacation. You need to go back to work. You need to, you need to go back to work. And um something but I mean I just have to vent all this out because I'm annoyed my package is about to be a month late I'm annoyed I want my money back I don't even my dog's kills hype is over because it's like I think in the first situation when I like I said I run my own business if somebody was like oh I can't buy my package you know my package is going back to you I would just be like here here has your money because Cash pack, package is going back to us clear it's in our state but now my package wants to come back here for what like, why are you coming back here it's not like I told somebody to ship it back to me because I'm pretty sure they didn't do that because I would have got an email that was shipping back to me with a new tracking order number which didn't still see tracking number and I'm just annoyed I'm being annoyed and I'm just highly annoyed and I'll let you guys in part two once to speak to a supervisor on probably not even Monday might be Wednesday because annoying I want this rectified I just it's just I want my money back now because like all this stuff is cool yeah but it's like I don't I think if I do get the package I won't be excited anymore I'm just I'm bummed like that's my money like I, I worked hard for it I don't even like I just started this channel it's just like channel to new it's like I'm not making money off of this so I'm working nine to five to get money and then spend it to somebody else. It's like, <laughs> but yeah, I'll let you guys know what happens in part two and see if what like what situation gets rectified once I speak to somebody. Hopefully on Monday, because I just want my money back. 
I don't care that my package is going back to back to back. Because if I finally get my package, then I would just send it, kindly send it back to them. And just be like, here you go. Here's your package. I don't want it anymore. I don't even want the items anymore. Just take it. Give back my money. Relist the stuff back on your website. Just take it. There you go. Feliz Navidad. But that's it, you guys. Um, We gotta go. I gotta go to bed. I work. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully Nirvana will be in it. I have a lot of videos, like plans and work, work, work. Um, but yeah, I see you guys in the next video. Don't have to, don't like this video, subscribe, and see you guys next time.